So today we have a few unboxings to do. The first one we will start with the new Dolph Pinfin XP005L. So before it was only the XP005, now we have the L version, the old 005 got discontinued. Um, I haven't seen it myself except for pictures, so let us just check what is actually inside. Manual and the quality control uh, certificate. So the machine itself, the charger, the tools needed, as well as a cutter and a tracer, and a second and new um, M5 uh, jaw, as well as a small brush. As you can see directly, the shield of the new machine is a lot bigger, so you don't have any to worry anymore that it might, uh, some of the small pieces might fly into your eye. So this is the first big benefit. The second, just realized that we directly have a screen inside of the machine. This machine only was able to be operated by the mobile phone or by one of the Expo uh, Horse uh, Max or Plus tools. So you were connected with Bluetooth in order to um, control the machine. And another small and handy feature is that in the back we have um, the possibility to put in the cutters so that they don't get lost, while on the old machine we didn't have anything like this. So let's start the machine and take a look at what the display will tell us. So we will choose English. Uh, we need to activate the device, uh, agree to the disclaimer. So we are now connected to the Wi-Fi. You need the Xhos app and scan the QR code. Let me check. Okay, so I connected uh, the device now with my app with Bluetooth. So I will just use the app for now. Installation complete. So now it's in English. We can go on the vehicle database. No data for the current device. I will now download this with this app. So we are now connected with the app. We have the um, machine here. We have the M5 clamp. We already adjusted the tracer and the cutter. Um, now that we have an H66, a Volkswagen key, um, and we want to decode it, we can either go by vehicle database or cut by bitting. If we go to vehicle database, we can go to Volkswagen. Up, this is the wrong direction. Here is Volkswagen. We can select the model. Let's say it's a Golf, and then we have all uh, profiles Golf and uh, head. And then we can also say by type, like the Mark 7, Mark 6, or we can go by the dates. If we know already it's an H66, like I do right now, because they are very common in Germany, we can just go by cut by bitting, go to H, search H66, and then we can select the normal or the one with the 6 cut. In this case, it should be a normal one, but uh, with a 9 cut, but um, even if it's a normal one and we just cut the, no uh, the one with the ninth cut, it's not a problem. So if you're not sure, just select the one with the ninth cut. Now the machine tells us to use the uh, M5 clamp side B. And as you can see here, we have written down uh, on it side A. So we need to turn the, the clamp. Right now we can't turn it. For this we need to open up the clamp, then we can Rotate it by 180 degrees, put the clamp back together, and then, in contrast to most other um, jaws, you need to put in your key up here. Clamp it in, and then we can say decode, start. Okay, 
the key got decoded. We can see the code up here. We can just go down and say cut key. Also clamp it in. Then we can select the cutting depth. We can say a secondary cutting, so it will cut a second time. Um, and we can use the decoding depths to cut. Um, so when we are decoding, the key or uh, the probe is also checking how deep it is, and we could use that. Normally, we don't need to. The preview button seems new. Ah, okay. So it's just showing me a preview of the cut here. Ah, it's also showing me a preview directly on the screen, so this is why I'm a little bit confused that we need it. But let's see what happens. Now the cutting is complete. Normally we would just turn the key around, cut the second side. Now for the video we will not do it. So let's try a few things which are uh, interesting to know. Let's go and first try HU162T which is a new Volkswagen key and is a little bit um, What's the name? Um, it's a little bit more difficult to cut on the M1 um, jaw of the old machine. So I want to know how this machine will handle it. And uh, we can see we have three different cuts. We have an 8 cut, we have a 933 cut, so we have three on the side, which is this key, or we have a 1044, so 10 cuts, four of them are on the sides. So, as we have the 933, we will select the 933. And it's telling me M5, side B, which we already have, position 3. So, position 3 is the third line, as the picture shows me. And with the XOS machine, we just have to put it roughly at the position and go on OK. So, let's start with the decoding of the A axis. It's telling me again, please be careful to be on position 3. Let's try it. So we have the, um, the A axis decoded and it automatically calculates the B and C axis splitting, which is 342 and 213, which is very interesting that the machine can do this. No, let me check. Let me go to the other axis. Okay. Axis B. And let me just check it with the eye if it looks correct. 3, 4, 2. Yes. Okay. C axis. 2, 1, 3. Also correct. So the machine automatically, however it knows, knows the um, code of the B and C axis just by decoding the A axis. Now go and cut a complete key if you would want to with the B, A, B, C side. Good. With that being said, uh, let's try one more key. Let's stay with, um, with Volkswagen and go with HU49, which is the uh, old style Volkswagen keys and um, just use the normal one and it's asking me to use the A side, this is what I want to see because before we would have to use now the M1 uh, key uh, jaw and now we can just use the M5 jaw, turn it around, put it like this. And we should normally use a 1.5 cutter. We will just decode it in this case. So we will go decode key and check. Decode successful. Take a look at the key. Looks good, looks good. Yes, yes. 
okay this also looks good so also the um h 49 so also the outside cut keys the older keys are possible so with this machine with only one clamp where we no, uh, needed um, more before we can cut it which might be interesting is but i think for this we still need the old clamp is the fo21 which is a tibble system and it tells me directly okay you need an m3 clamp so still for this machine you would need to buy the m3 clamp separately if we have a lot of tibble keys to cut so now i want to check because um, we can also do customized key data um, let me check and go for add model because yes okay they said that they can do standard single keys with the uh, m5 key clamp so we can are able to put in our own um, card to cut a key uh, it's just a normal um, standard as you can see on the phone right now standard key um, which is or can be interesting this is something the Futura for example from Zilka can do but they have a big database and as far as I know and as far as I can see this big database is missing in the XHOS uh, tools on the XHOS uh, machines but you can do your own database if you want to um, with that I think we are completely finished with doing this uh, small presentation of the machine. So thank you a lot. If you have questions to the machine, just ask them. We will be sure to check it out to um, answer them. And also, if you have questions, obviously, we also want to learn more about the machine. So we are very happy when you tell them. Just put them in the comments. And the next video we will do is about the X-Horse Key Reader which is a device which can work together with the XOS machines in order to decode the keys a lot faster.